Troubles of Adam Pac-Man Jones new and deeper twist. Where's the profile? None of that, man. Where's the profile? Sometimes it seems that Pac-Man Jones's life. Every day is somebody else. Can I have my own privacy, man? Is like one continuous punt return. Always exciting, seldom predictable, constantly chaotic. A very different story tonight about placed under arrest for disorderly conduct. That's racial profile. No, 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 no. Locked up for no. He's got to be the tough guy. You know what I mean? He's got to be the one to say whatever's got to be said. Adam Pacman Jones grew up in a housing project in southwest Atlanta. Jones's mother, Deborah, spent three years in prison on drug charges. His father was shot and killed when Jones was six. I think that was the hardest time in his life. He didn't want to go to school, he didn't want to read, he didn't want to do anything. By the time he got to Westlake High School, Pac-Man Jones had a reputation. A bright, cocky, athletic kid with a temperament shaped by his rough neighborhood. We heard that he was a tough kid and that um, he had got into, you know, a few fights here and there. So as a staff, you know, the first thing we did was we went to him and we we put a group of individuals around him to make sure that he didn't get in any trouble. And even when he got out, you know, got off the path, you know, there was somebody there to put him back in it. You know what I'm saying? In high school, Jones won two state championships in basketball and was all state in football. And he's going all the way for a touchdown. He accepted a scholarship to West Virginia, where he made the honor roll but was also arrested for allegedly beating a fellow student with a pool cue. Jones was sentenced to two years probation. April of 2005, the Tennessee Titans made Jones the first defensive player taken in the entire draft, despite concerns about his character. Well, the story is that Jeff Fisher told people in the draft room uh, before they picked him, there was a lot of controversy whether this is the right pick. Uh, he said, I can handle this guy. I know he's had some, some troubles in the past, but this is a guy I can take control of. Jeff and I had a lot of long conversations about PAC and, you know, what, what are the potential problems and, you know, what, what do we need to do and how we need to do it. Former Titans general manager Floyd Reese says the selection of Jones was one of the few times the team's draft formula which does take character into account, didn't work. The process goes out and drafts Steve McNair, and it drafts Eddie George, and it drafts Javon Kirsten, and it drafts Vince Young, and it drafts Pac-Man Jones. And you wonder what happened there. Just three days after the draft, Atlanta police interviewed Jones after his alleged involvement in a fight at a strip club. He was never charged. Since the team drafted Jones less than two years ago, he's been arrested or questioned by police in at least 10 incidents. They include the triple shooting at a Las Vegas strip club and Jones loaning his Cadillac to a convicted drug dealer. Both Pac-Man Jones and the Titans front office declined to comment for this story. I mean, if you look at it right now and, and after two years and all the incidents, I think, you know, on the field, it was, certainly wasn't a mistake, you know, he's a, he's a quality player and he, off the field, yeah. I've learned a lot, you know, for the most part, and I've learned, so I'm all right. I've learned a lot from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just got to watch where I go and watch the people around me, you know, now I know that I'm a target. It's the people that you are around. Please try to eliminate some of these bad apples, you know. Deborah Jones says the bad apples influencing her son are childhood buddies from the neighborhood, some of whom have criminal records. By all accounts, the 23-year-old Jones, with a guaranteed contract of more than $13 million, is extremely generous to his longtime friends. He doesn't want to cut his friends off, you know, because that's just the rule of the hood, I guess you would say. If you had an idea of how tough it's his um, upbringing was, and some of those kids who were actually there with him, I think that's why it's tough for him to, um, to cut the ties with them. Not long after he was drafted, during his holdout, I went to Jacksonville, spent some time with him, asked him the question if he had to pick the NFL you know, over his friends. He said he would pick his friend. 
Maurice Fitzgerald was the longtime football coach at Pearl Cone High School in Nashville, where his path crossed with Jones. I think he's a young man that uh, grew up fast, uh, grew up uh, with not a lot of things, and really probably not a lot of people to trust, especially adults. Two years ago, Jones visited the team after one of Fitzgerald's players was killed in a car accident. The kids were similar to him, coming from the same background and disadvantaged situations, so uh, it was a great match. He started even racing with the kids. He, was, he acted like one of them. Fitzgerald remembers Jones showing up to two games and at least four practices. Jones has also visited and spoken at YMCA's, boys and girls clubs, and youth camps. I can name seven guys from my high school that was ten times better than me, but couldn't go to college because they didn't have the grades. And among other things, has donated money so police and firefighters in Nashville could afford new uniforms. I decided to do this way back in August, you know, before I hit the field, so I don't want the media to think that I just did this yesterday, so. Uh, you know how Very quietly, he went and visited with a paralyzed police officer here in Nashville, didn't want a lot of publicity about that, spent several hours with her after he found out that her son was a big Pac-Man Jones fan. Last year, Jones had a daughter, and he says it slowed him down. But this isn't the Pac-Man Jones most people know. This is. The one who, in the words of his mother, has a hard shell on the outside that you just can't get through. Right profile. You just don't trust anybody. I mean, you can't get in his circle until you know, unless he wants you in his circle. Do you think he will change? I know he will. Why? Because he knows he has to. I feel personally that there's still a chance that you can see the real Pac-Man the innocent Pac-Man that I think that he can be once things is turned around.